What's going on everybody? It's 123 Stealth Bomber here and I'm bringing you another video for the Mao Online Community number 2, battle number 2. And this time it's on original Men of War, not Assault Squad. I do host games for both Assault Squad and Men of War, so today we decided to do it for original Men of War. Uh, this game is a 5v5 uh, on Desert Hills. We are playing as the Germans and our opponents are the British. Uh, so while we wait for the game to load, as you can tell, I have a new mic. You can tell that my voice is a lot clearer now. Finally got myself a new mic that I really wanted to get for the longest time. Uh, you won't have to have that low sounding, low quality, muffled sounds from my original mic. Uh, if you're wondering, my older mic was uh, a Guitar Hero mic. Yeah, so it was bad. It, was really, it wasn't really that good. But I never had the money to actually buy a new one, so this time I'm using... Not a professional one, but something a lot better, a lot more sell, uh, better in quality. Uh, hopefully, you guys were uh, like this one a lot better. Um, and finally, it's if you're wondering, it's a Turtle Beach uh, special edition for Gold Call of Duty Ghosts. So eh, it's not the best, but it's whatever. It'll work. I can finally do live commentaries for my videos from now on. So now I don't have to wait um, and do post commentaries no more. I think live commentaries will be ten times easier. For me to explain everything since uh when i'm commenting on the video i usually look at the video and then comment on what i'm doing in that time so i think it's easier if i do live commentaries instead so that's what i'll be doing from now on so just for today since i already record this video it's gonna be um post commentary now for this game we have we did win uh we actually kind of like destroyed them pretty badly uh, apparently i think the other team were all noobs, so I have no idea, but, you know, it was a good game, nonetheless, we finally won, uh, last game, it was, we got crushed pretty badly, so this time we, um, crushed the enemy team pretty badly, and, uh, right now we're just waiting for the enemy, the other players to ready up, now, for the people who are in this game, some of the people in here are from the Mal, com uh, the Mal Online Community Group, and some other people are random people who are just joined from the game. Uh, I didn't get enough people to do a 5v5, so that's okay. Um, I will be posting more online video, more online community games as soon as I can. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll just wait until the game starts here. Uh, oh, um, if you're wondering, the game type that we played on is Battle Zones. Um, and you'll see how it goes. I put the score limit to, I think, 600 or something like that. Oh, there we go. Finally. Okay, so right off the bat, what I do is I buy some German riflemen, and I tell my teammates, and I secure the left lower corner of the battle zone. I tell everybody on my team to try and split up and take as much ground as possible. Yeah, boy. All right. Uh, let's see. Jawohl. So first, you know, starts off really slow. We, I did have the money limit pretty high, as you can see. I, I can already start building and buying a tank if I wanted to. I believe I save up for a tiger tank, um, and like I just go off with that unit. I'm gonna first send off a couple guys to secure that lower check, uh, that lo well checkpoint, lower capture zone, and I send some more guys towards the middle. For the most part, what we do to win for this game is we try and secure the middle as fast as you can. Usually, that's how it goes for many of uh, the um, battle zone game types. So now I'm moving my guys more towards the right and capture this lower middle capture point. Alright, and my allies, uh, with this SDKFZ, I'm not sure if that was a 222 or a 223, but he's scouting out the enemy for us, which is a good idea. See what he has, and the enemy has already captured the right top, the top right capture zone, and so it's a pretty much even capture fight so far. Right now, again, I'm saving up a little bit more, and try to just get some more, trying and save up for a tiger tank 
I believe I bring in some extra infantry, however. Verstanden. We'll see in a moment. Wird erledigt. Uh, unlike last game, it was really bad on lag. This time, it wasn't so bad. You know, since I was the host, um, sometimes, like, when you're the host, you can get messed up pretty badly in terms of lag. But then sometimes, like, it's not so bad. Uh, it, it You could see, you will see some lag spikes throughout the game, but it's not as bad as yeah, last game. So, you know, I was hoping for great for that. Alright, I'm going to put this guy over here. Have this guy move over there. And I move my guys towards the middle and try to rush the middle. But however, the enemy has captured five out of the nine out of the entire battle zone. And uh, the actual, the enemy didn't have any infantry over here. I think they, well, actually, I think they do, but they are hiding. Uh, I have one of my allies help me uh, suppress infantry fire with this Puma. And uh, there's another ally infantry squad moving up towards the middle to secure it. Yep, there's some commando infantry right on that ridge right there. Try and throw some grenades, but you'll see that I uh, failed right there. I think it hits like a tree. No, it hits. Oh, yeah. Uh, at least it didn't kill any of my men right there. That was pretty close. But uh, that Puma killed the rest of those commandos, and now we have captured that point. So now we have the middle. I'm gonna set up. I set up some men with those sandbags right behind there, and I I do it as well for my guy right here that's in the corner. I bought some SMG infantry to help secure that middle. I think I go towards that hill on towards the top right of the screen to secure that middle, and I bought a machine gunner to suppress any infantry that try and rush through that. So so far we have we are actually losing in terms of points but we come back pretty quickly all right um our ally has a panzer three right there and a puma got killed i don't know what it was i think that was a cromwell yep that was a cromwell and i don't know what my ally was doing with this panzer three it's a uh, oh oh okay look at that uh, the enemy's ally just killed his own half track so that just helped him right there pretty impressive I didn't even notice that so they're trying to desperately take back that middle but I don't think they even get close to capturing that point I think this is the farthest they ever made it some more commandos trying to rush up the middle but and there's a willies but we have a panther track pinning them down and up oh, here comes our SDKFZ and to mow down the rest of those infantry Okay, so we're slowly starting to take back the middle, and we are, oh, okay, performance drop. Yeah, this guy, he gets a lot of performance drops throughout the entire game. Oh, and, um, I didn't even notice, I just bought myself a tiger. And, uh, this is where my tiger starts to go into work. So I'm just waiting for it to get to the middle, and, um, yeah. That's pretty much it for that. I'm just waiting for it to get to the middle. And my ally brought up a pack 40. Try and do uh, as much work as he can. And pin the left. As you can see, our allies are starting to move towards the far left of the map. And try and flank them from there. Towards the end of the game, we pretty much take... Like, the entire left where it's all covered in ally infantry. To cover some more ground, I am trying to get some more SMGs going. In that little town over there on the hill. We can't allow them to take that back. That's a very, very good spot for opportunities, for advantages, and height advantage. So there's an enemy Sherman tank sitting right there. And that Sherman's not going to live for a long time. I marked it for our allies. But uh, they don't do anything, unfortunately. That's okay, because my sh my Tiger tank will do the work. So I'm going to bring up some anti-tank rifle and rocket launcher guys to help secure that middle area in case if any vehicles try and flank my Tiger tank. Which I think it does happen later on. So, so far, uh, for the right side, 
I don't know what our allies were doing, but they looked like they were just holding off from the right side. They didn't plan on actually pushing them back, unlike our allies on the left did. But it looks like they're just going to hold off, see if they even, even come close. They'll just mow them down from their defense. So I'm now just going to direct control my Tiger tank and try and take a shot at that Sherman right there. But I believe, yeah, it's just beyond that little hill ridge over there. So I cannot get a proper shot. Alright, some more British commandos moving up. Alright, I'm gonna... Ch this is kind of like riskful right here. You know, I can get easily flanked. And, but I just want to take out this Sherman because that's going to help us if I take that out. And I do, I just try and need to get around this rock. And then, I think he does see me, but he can't pierce me, of course, because his gun's not powerful enough. And I destroy its turret with the shot. And there we go. Killed the Sherman, no problem, on that second shot. But finally, but I did get my track damaged from another tank that's on that ridge over there behind that capture zone. And this is where it starts to get a little hectic. The enemy, by this point in the game where we got enough money to start pumping out tanks, I'm just going to try and hold off as best as I can until ally reinforcements arrive. There's a, sh a Firefly right there, but I have no problem taking that out. And there's a... There is a mortar in the corner over there on my map. I try and reload the HE shell and try to take it out, but I don't think I do it so well. I get sidetracked because there's another enemy unit coming in. Another enemy tank on that side. I was like, oh no. There is a Centurion already in the game. I don't. Uh, I actually thought I was going to lose my Tiger tank at this point because Centurions, their gun might not be powerful. Uh, unless if they get really close, that is, but they have a lot of armor to withstand a tiger shell, so they have no problem whatsoever. But surprisingly enough, I actually do take it out. Uh, the yeah, player boy. using that Centurion, he actually showed his side armor, which gave me a perfect opportunity to sh shoot it right in the side armor and destroyed it. But for now, it's long-range engagements, and couldn't do too much with this point. Uh, I don't even know where that Centurion went. Alright, uh, okay, see, now this, he's moving up his Centurion, and as you can see, I don't know what he was doing, that's a bad, bad thing he shouldn't be doing right now. He shows his side armor, I could have gotten that shot, but the rock was in my way. Finally, he's showing perfect side armor, and I take my advantage and shoot it right inside and kill it. Get another good kill off of it. Yeah, I kind of like, give it a little celebration, because, you know... Centurions are very hard to kill, especially with the Tiger tank. So, I'm surprised I got enough kills. You know, this Tiger is actually surviving by this point in the game. It's uh, like sandbag like I'm guessing there's a bunch of infantry behind it. I take a shot and I get a couple kills right off the bat. Um, I marked... That was right there, what I just marked. I needed some allied help because uh, this thing's all by itself. And it's... Uh, yeah, see, as you can see, there's another Centurion moving up. I don't think I'm going to be able to survive this one. I believe I, my tire tank does get destroyed after this one. So right now, I'm, I am technically holding off the British armored forces with just my tiger tank. They are trying to focus all their efforts on just my tank. While, while I'm doing that, I'm actually distracting them because as you can see, the left... On the left, on my map, if you could see it, my allies have captured that Verstanden. battle zone. 
And they have even Push gone down. through on the left side to take more cover and ground. And uh, right there, he they try and fire a land mattress at me, but they only killed my paratroopers that were surrounding it. Which is okay, because uh, I, you know, at least I didn't lose my tiger from that. Again, that was a foolish of what the enemy right did right there. He was sitting right there. I take a shot, but as you can see, like a shot was right there, and I know the land mattress was right there, but it didn't seem to kill it, and I wasn't paying attention, and the Centurion killed me right from the front. So that's all right. I still held off the enemy pretty well with just one tank. As you can see, my the left side, we are setting up defenses. Uh, and mines try to hold them off in case if they try to go through that so what I was doing was I decided to hold off and buy a Yog Tiger that Centurion is gonna prove to be a very big pain there's another sh I believe that's a Firefly yes that's a Firefly uh, both of them are they both have the same 76 millimeter gun but it doesn't matter that 76 is still very powerful I did buy a mortar a little while back while I was fighting off the enemy with my tiger tank. And I'm trying to move it over here, but as you can see, apparently the hill, they can't pathfind around the hill. I don't know. That's just the AI for you. So I have to actually tell it to, you know, go in this direction and then go dire that direction just to move around the hill, which got very annoying. I just bought that mortar just to reinforce that middle a little bit, just in case if they use infantry. Verstanden. Now I'm still saving up. Now I just wait until I uh, get a Yog Tiger here, hoping that the enemy doesn't push up too much with their forces. As you can see on our score, we are now dominating the enemy. At first, they were winning. At first, they have 52 out of 1,200, and now we have 363 and counting. We are definitely destroying the enemy right now. It doesn't look like they're putting in too much effort. It looks like they're just trying to hold off the best they can. By this point, it looks like we have won this battle. And yeah, say a player, I believe, I'm not sure if that was on the other team. I believe that was on the other team. I guess he kind of rage quit or something like that. Yeah, I mean, this, this game was kind of a little unfair and I'll give him that. Especially if you're facing the Germans in an open desert combat with the British, you know. You know, the British don't really got too much good stuff until later on, like their turtle. Actually, you will be seeing those very soon. They will, as soon as I buy my Yog Tiger, they'll be pumping out turtles like no tomorrow. And that's, um, that's going to prove a problem. And, uh, right there, good way to take out, an uh, ally just took out two tanks Back to back, that was a very nice kill right there by our ally. Yeah, we are just holding off the enemy, no problem. You know, I kind of feel bad for them, but you know, what are you going to do? <laughs> uh, let's see, he has, uh, our allies have also put infantry in light infantry and small armored vehicles around the map just to see the scout even better now I finally got my Yog Tiger heavy tank destroyer and I know this thing is a beast in open combat so this will be perfect for a map like this there's a Churchill mark 4 uh, yeah I believe that's a mark 4 Moving over there. Yep, the enemy has did decap that battle zone over there, but it doesn't really matter anyways, because we have six out of the nine, and they all about to have three. They have to have at least six or more, I believe, in order to start gaining points. So it wouldn't even really matter for us. Uh, I'm just warning my guys, because as you can see, there is a turtle finally that paired up. I'm just warning everybody on our team that there's now a turtle on their side. But uh, hopefully my Yog Tiger will do the work. Uh, I didn't even notice. And as you can see, 
our ally brought up a Hummel, and they're still planting mines over here. They just, like, rigged this area to hell. Now, they have a Centurion and a Turtle. This is going to prove to be very, very hard to do, to take out. Okay, and I have to, dec I think I have to control this thing because it goes really slow up hills. It's the one problem with the Yog Tiger. You know, it's slow to begin with, and if it tries to go up a hill, forget it. Okay, that's just ridiculously slow. You know, speaking of that, I wonder how they're going to change the physics in Assault Squad 2. You know, I hope they fix all this stuff, you know, armor, piercings. You know, I hope they make tank combat a little bit more realistic. As it is in Men of War, it is pretty realistic in terms of armor values. Uh, you know, how they have their correct weapons and armament. Uh, you know, all that stuff. But some... Some units in this game are a little rigged in terms of armor, like the KV-1. I think that one's a little overpowered in terms of armor. For some reason, 100 millimeters does not feel like 100 millimeters. It feels like 150 or like something like that. I don't know. You know, I hope they fix everything that they need to fix for the new Men of War, which they should. But, oh well, we'll see. Okay, now I am moving up my Yacht Tiger. A little bit more kind of where my tiger was but not too far because i don't want to get killed this time and there's a little small engagement with my infantry that i had up here uh, i didn't want to push through because i didn't want them getting killed so i just try and hold off and now i'm trying to search out and find their centurion and turtle and this is where like i probably bet this is probably the most part of the epic battle of the entire game cannot kill each other because our armor values are too high for us to pierce and this is where it begins there's only one of them at first but it turns out they have like three or four of them later on and I came and pump out that many his the 839 turtle it's definitely a formidable unit right there the British have something up their sleeves and that's definitely one of them it's, I kind of say, I think the turtle is kind of like the equivalent of the German Tiger, Just a little bit less less powerful. But in terms of armor and firepower, it's definitely something you don't want to mess with. Yeah, I'm getting bombarded by like a couple tanks here. Uh, and this guy, he sends up his bishop, his SPG. I don't know why he would be putting that. And look at that right there. You could saw that. That was complete bull. That was complete utter bull right there fired out a bishop which only has 60 millimeters of armor and bounces right off but the second shot kills it and destroys it but I don't know see something like that should should be fixed in men of war assault squad 2 I mean that should have gone clean straight through since you know with the 128 millimeter gun it should have no problem but whatever that's all right my tiger, my Yog Tiger is still doing good, so I'm okay. Oh man, another shot off of me. <clears throat> yeah, see, now they have two of them. That's, uh, you know, I can't deal with two of them, especially when they're aiming them from two different... Uh, directions eventually one of them is gonna get my track and destroy it so I can't even move at all I can only fire at one of them but luckily my ally has brought up a king tiger and it will be firing at the other turtle but problem thing is tiger you know the king tiger can't pierce a turtle from that range so you know again it's just pot shots we're just taking shots at each other and we're not even doing any damage whatsoever Okay, I'm gonna try and move up a little bit since now I have some cover with me. And yeah, okay. And I have, uh, a couple of my men died just a second ago, so I'm trying to figure out what the heck just happened. And figured out there's a mortar right there, so I grab my rocket guy uh, and move him up. Try and get that. There's actually some guys right there. I thought the enemy was gonna see my rocket launcher guy, but fortunately they did not. 
Fire shots. And then, and then I fire my. Uh, I only. I actually did kill the crew in that water crew. I'm actually surprised on that one. But then, uh, the guys behind the wall, I take my shots with the rock launcher and just uh, kill them right there. Kill them all behind. And I see that Centurion in the distance. And try and get it with my rock launcher guy, but yeah, it failed. Okay, so my Yacht Tiger now has a destroyed gun, so it's now completely useless. It's just sitting there. And the enemy is just relentless in bombarding this thing. Now it has a destroyed track, so I can't even retreat it. Tiger's gonna have to do some damage. King Tiger hopefully is gonna have to try and cover me as best as I can. And just look at that. That's just an incredible amount of tanks right there. Yeah, uh, I gotta say though, though we completely destroyed the enemy, I gotta say it was a pretty good battle. You know, uh, still put up a good fight. I don't know, maybe these people we were facing were new. Who knows? And move it up. And my ally, he actually manages to get a flamethrower behind the lines and burns that turtle. And that was an amazing kill right there. I got I approved of that kill right there. That was amazing. That was a very good kill. He kills that tiger. I mean, I'm sorry, t not tiger, uh, turtle. And gives some pressure off me and my allies, King Tiger. Now we all we have to worry about is that other turtle on the right side. So, I decided to buy a Panzer Warfare. I don't think it's going to do anything, though. Panzer Warfare is there, you know, they could pierce, uh, you know, maybe up to, like, maybe a tiger's damage, depending on where it hits. Honestly, rockets are really random in this game. You never know if it can kill a tank. Like, sometimes it can kill a tank, but sometimes it can't. Sometimes it'll just destroy the track, which it mainly does. Maybe destroys the cannon. That has happened before. But mainly, you know, just the tracks. Um, I, I have actually, in fact, destroyed a tiger's hull before, which is pretty amazing. But it's rare, but I've hit it on the top of the tank. So, uh, apparently I, you know, hit it just right. Okay. Uh, I had my guy repair my Yog Tiger since my King Tiger, he's still going at it with that other turtle. I'm going to have my repair guy try and repair it and try to start aiming at the other turtle to help him out. Well, maybe... No, I can't aim over there. No, nope. the turret can't turn that much. Alright, so... Pretty much by this point, it's game over. It was for the... Mainly half of the game, anyways. Because they did not be... They weren't able to push back the enemy at all. So... You know, just do a little bit of extra things that not even necessary. Try and, you know, fortify that hill. Which it doesn't even matter anyways, because all the only, only thing that the enemy has is probably a few infantry squads, if, you know, if any. And mainly just a couple of tanks. Oh, the enemy has another turtle. Oh, I didn't even realize. Oh, there's a uh, Achilles right there. That's going to be an easy kill for me. I'm going to take an advantage of that one and fire. While my King Tiger is keeping focused on those turtles, I'm going to take a shot right at that one. I believe I miss on this shot, though. Yep, I just missed just by a few inches. I'm gonna take this one just for the extra kill. I think like we are completely boxed in the enemy. They only have, like, actually I don't know. It's kind of unfair. Look at our ally on the right side. He, they actually went into their spawn, which I think is kind of you know a little unfair. But I can't really tell them what to do or what not to do. So. I 
so I'm gonna move up my Panzer Warfare. Moved up my Panzer Warfare and trying to get some hits with those turtles over there. So if I can at least do any damage. But I don't think I do any damage whatsoever. I don't even think I destroy their track. Uh, as soon as I do that, I want to move my Panzer Warfare back. Oh, well, I had another set of rockets I could fire still. Huh. Ah, that was a good one. The Hummel just killed that last guy right there. He actually saved me from my Yogg Tiger getting killed. I'm going to retreat my Panzer Warfare as I did so it doesn't get killed in case if the turtles can fire from that distance, which I think they can. Uh, and I'm going to try and do what I did with my ally did a little while ago. And look at this. Watch this. I lose my Yog Tiger right after this. I see it last second, and he had dynamite in his hand, and he killed it. Uh, man, I just noticed it. That was probably my fault. I should have been paying attention. But that's okay. It's game over anyways for the enemy, so it didn't even matter. I bought a tar an elephant just to try and, like, make up for it. So, like I was saying, I'm going to try and do the same feat that my ally did with this flamethrower. Try to get his things. And look at this. Watch this. Un wow, that was just unbelievable. Our allies sacrificed this SDKFZ by stealing their land mattress and blowing up that... Um oh, they didn't blow up this turtle. I thought it did. Oh, okay, never mind. Well, they it, it was an attempted... It was an attempted attack. Suicide attack. Verstanden. Can't even repair my Yog Tiger. That's all right. Oh, and they have another turtle. Oh my God, this is ridiculous. And there you go. Game over. Well, good game to my opponents. Very good game. Thank you for all the people who uh, participated. Uh, again, I'll be posting more videos like this in the future. So hang on tight, and I'll see you guys later.